video is gonna be a little bit different. Today is the day I start my alkaline plant-based journey and I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me. So let's get into it. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Takara One or you can call me Teeks. It is whichever one that you would prefer to call. Me. No, don't do that. <laughs> She said mama, or you can call me mama, is whichever one that you prefer. <laughs> I am super excited to go on this journey because it's just time, okay? It's time to switch it up. It's time to change up my eating habits. And after all the research that I've done, I think it's time for me to apply all of the research and all of the things that I have learned and go on and start this journey. So as you guys know, the world is all about energy. We are electromagnetic beings. And it's, it, it is important to be putting basically electrics into our body, into this vehicle. And me learning that just made me realize, I was like, hmm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not eating right. I ain't living right. <laughs> and it affects me because I feel like lately I have not been getting a lot done. I haven't been feeling as productive. Like I feel very sluggish. Um, it's hard for me to like stay focused on my tasks and get things done the way I need to get them done And I feel like it's just all because of my diet and my sleeping pattern. So all of that stops today okay i feel like there's a ton of you out there who probably can relate to this so but that's why i decided that i was going to document my journey and because my friend told me that i need to document my journey and i was like you know what you're right i do need to document it um even me being scared even me not really knowing what i'm doing even me learning hopefully if you are maybe already in this community or you're already on your journey you can give me some advice um, and comment below and teach me some things that you already know. So yeah, today's start is I am going to be going to this like local grocery store in my area to try to pick up a few things off of my grocery list that I currently have. I finally went ahead and like found this ebook that can kind of like guide me slowly into making this transition. You guys already don't know, I already don't eat like ham and pork like that. Um, I've kind of been like just, I've dwindled down on that. One of the main things that I still kind of still eat on occasion is chicken, turkey. I don't really drink milk like that, but I do drink a lot of coffee with dairy creamer and uh, cheese. So those are kind of, and I don't really eat eggs like that. So those are kind of the things that I'm going to try to like find replacements for. There's my daughter. There's my daughter. So I recently ordered this ebook from this girl who like she already is on her plant-based like transition and diet. And she was already on her journey and she seemed very trustworthy and I really love her videos um on her instagram i came across her on tiktok though um but her name is alkaline cutie and i am super excited to try out some of the recipes that i got on her ebook so i'm gonna link her ebook down below if you guys are interested as well but yeah i'm gonna just try to find as many of the things in the grocery list that i can at the market i know some of the hard things that are gonna be hard to find are like baby bananas burro bananas probably like spilt flour the king oyster mushroom mushroom those are things that i'm gonna have to go to like local latin and international food market for now this market that i'm going to is kind of like a whole food a whole food but i think they have the mushrooms that i need so i'm gonna try to go there and like just scout around and see what other like fruits and stuff that they have um because i've never actually been to this grocery store before i always just go to the large retail grocery stores like Publix. i don't really go to kroger's or walmart like that anymore but mostly I've been going to Publix a lot. So I'm gonna be trying to go to this grocery store, see what they got. And then if I don't make it to the like Latin international markets today, I'm gonna try to maybe go tomorrow or over the weekend. And I have to get this little cutie back here to transition as well. Uh, we're gonna try to change up her diet. She's been eating a lot of fruits, but I've noticed that Zahara has only been wanting like a lot of like snacks and fruit snacks. And I'm like, I have to get her off of this. Um, 
and she wants like chicken a lot and i'm trying to like get her to like us to like kind of like get off of that as well so that's where the mushrooms come in at so and you guys can learn all of that in the ebook gotta get her sleeping patterns better and her eating habits better because i feel like that's important for her at this age she's a toddler so if i can get her into this right now um i feel like it'll be better i feel like it's gonna be just like breastfeeding um she's gonna have withdrawals just like i'm gonna have withdrawals and it's just gonna be a challenge we might stumble up and end up you know you know getting back into our old habits but the plan is to not do that and to try to make these meals um to the best of my ability so that way we can kind of like get on a better eating diet so yeah i am going to be taking the ebook and the dr sabi's nutritional guide if you guys are not familiar with that guide i'm going to link that down below as well But yeah, overall, I'm super excited. Um, another thing that I kind of want to get is like making horse smoothies in the morning and making her like some type of juice. I think I'm going to look for like some prickly pear juice or whatever. Some type of substitute for like the little juicy juices and like Kool-Aid jammers that she's been drinking. I kind of want to just find better juice options for her as well for me. And I'm just excited. So I'm just going to take y'all along with me. We're going to see how it goes. I want to go before it gets dark. But right now i just want to like gradually get like some pantry staples and things of that sort so that way i feel like at least by next week i can kind of start making us very very good meals and very very good snacks and like even like alkaline ice cream cookies there's so many different options so i'm super excited are we gonna take them along with us right now she's eating donuts see this is not a good option <laughs> you ready to put your shoes on <laughs> yay Say bananas, 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 bananas. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and head off to the grocery store. All right, so we made it in here. Say hi, Z. Let's see if they got the baby bananas. It's super nice in here, though. Let's see if they got the baby bananas. Let's see them. They don't look like they got them. Okay, so they do have the mushrooms. So I'm gonna get the oyster ones. And I'm gonna get the baby Bella. And they have the king Trump trumpets here. And the portabella. portabella. Look at these. All right, so they have organic chickpeas, lentils, which I wanna try so far, I got mushrooms i got some dill i got this coconut oil for cooking and i got some peppers i just got the mushrooms for now so i'm trying to look for the flower i'm gonna look for that next hmm? what let me see if i should get this right. so this is supposed to be good for like soups the vegetable broth, kettle on fire. I haven't tried it, but I am gonna try it. Ooh. I love we could kind of get some. This agave is so expensive, it's ten dollars. This I was gonna get on Amazon, I feel like it'll be better a date syrup this is like $7.99 here so yeah no that's crazy so they do have the hemp seeds they're ten dollars here too these are good for like salads you can put them in smoothies so yeah i don't know if i'm gonna get them here or not i feel like they have a better bag it's the green bag on amazon so i might wait on that but those are good too so now I'm looking for this felt flower. I don't see it. I might have to get that online too. But it's like good for like pizza. This is good too, the chef flower. They do have quinoa flower. Um, I'm trying to debate, should I get quinoa flower? I think coconut flour is good too. But I don't see the spelt. Spelt, however you say it. 
I'm gonna have to order it online. All right, so I found some more coconut oils that are a little bit cheaper. So I might go with this one. And then I need some avocado oil. Ooh, they have hemp seed oil too, which is raw and seed oil. I don't know how you use, what you use that for though. What you said, poo poo? Okay, so here are the groceries. I ended up spending like $67 in here. Um, but I got some like pantry essentials. So yeah, I'm gonna show y'all when we get home. I think now it's getting dark. I'm going to think, I think I'm gonna go pick up a few things from Publix. Um, Cause they have like a few different options at Publix too. So I'm gonna go there. Um, and then, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to try to see if I can go find these bananas. If not, I'm going to have to order them online. They do two-day shipping, so, yeah. So, we're in Kroger. Say hi. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I did find a few things in here. So, I got some organic strawberries, some raspberries, some kale. I got the coconut plates. Cookies. I did find the hemp seeds in here for a little bit cheaper. The chickpea flour. I found some organic agave. This fell off for them. And then I got some yellow apples, some limes, which aren't key limes, but they're close enough. And then I got some avocados. And there's a hot has this. So we're gonna go get some oils. Okay, so they do have the grapeseed oil here for $6.99. They also have avocado oil. I'm debating on if I should get this one or this one because it's refined. Uh, what are you doing? You show them? Show them the snacks. Uh. <laughs> Alright, y'all. We're in Publix now. Look at this interior teriyaki soy sauce. Say hi. Say we're in public. Let's see if I can find what I'm looking for. Okay, so this is the one I was looking for. Teriyaki sauce. They do have the lentil going here. They got the wild rice. what we got it's a lot so we're just gonna go through it and show y'all you pull this stuff out already you gonna show them you gotta stand up and do it all right so the first thing we got we got some bob's red meals coconut flakes these are gonna be for we're gonna make you some alkaline chocolate chip cookies mm -hmm. okay what else did we get we got some same brand bob red's meal chickpea flour so we ended up finding this stuff at Kroger's. This is all from Kroger's. Then we got the chickpea rotini. So these are like pasta noodles. We got two of these. I think these were two for five. Good. And then we got some organic agave in the raw. This is the brand. This is blue, 100% pure blue agave. Always remember to look on the back of the labels. Always look for the USDA organic labels. So I was trying to like stick to looking at the labels, looking at the ingredients, making sure the ingredients only have that ingredient in it and not anything crazy. So we got that. Then we got some hemp seeds. These are by this same brand, the Bob Mills, Bob Red Mill brand. And these are good for like salads, soup. These are good for like salads, soups. You can put these in your 
smoothies. So that's that. We got that from Kroger as well. So we got some limes. They're not key limes, but they didn't really have any key limes or seeded grapes at Kroger. So I'm gonna have to go to like a, like I said, a local market. Then we got some gala apples. We got those. What else? We got some organic uh, strawberries. Super good. Good snack. Is that all in the bag? Okay. We got a coupon, a coupon in there too. So what else is from Kroger? You want to open this one? Okay, so then in this bag, we got us some chopped kale. This is going to be good for salads and like quinoa salads. We already got quinoa, so. Then we got, I want to hard to try these out. I'm going to try these too, but we got some roasted seaweed seaweed snacks and these are sea salt snacks so these are like a good little snack to snack on and then we got some tahini which are good for like sandwiches and i think you can put this in like different sauces as well so i just got this organic tahini ground sesame seed um simple truth organic tahini all right what's next is there anything else from Kroger? Oh yeah, this is from Kroger. You want to put this out? So next we got some <gasps> smoothie fruit. So this is like a really good brand. I really like this brand. This blend is mango berry. It has mangoes, strawberries, and wild blueberries in it. So we got this in the freezer section of Kroger. And then we also got some organic raspberries, which is another good snack to have. What else did we get? Kroger? Okay, so then when we went to Farmer's, what is it, Fresh Market? The oil was a little bit more expensive, so I ended up going to Kroger's to get the oil. So we got the grapeseed oil, which they say is really, really good to, for cooking. So you're supposed to use grapeseed oil and avocado oil for cooking only. And then olive oil is only supposed to be used apparently for just like salads and stuff like that. So you're really not supposed to cook olive oil. So we got that. So that is going to be for cooking. Some seasonings from Kroger. So I got, I just picked up a couple other ones that I didn't have just to add. So we got some thyme leaves. I think that's how you say it. Coriander, ground coriander. We got some sea salt, which I need to find a better sea salt. I don't really we got some ginger ground. And then also from Kroger, I got some organic avocado. Alright, so what's next? Now we're gonna go and show y'all what we got from the I'm gonna show y'all what we got from the fresh market. So you want to show them what we got? No, we doesn't want. <laughs> she kind of okay. So from the fresh market, we got some other stuff. We got some plantain chips. You want to try these? I think it's plantain. Plantain chips. I'm sorry. Plantain. We got some organic unrefined coconut oil, which is also good for cooking. This is also good for teeth. So I'm gonna start using this for Zahara's gums because I've been noticing like some like some stuff on her teeth. So I'm gonna use this to like brush her teeth. Um, this is also good for coconut oil pulling. Um, but yeah, this is great for cooking as well. Then the main reason why I went to the fresh market was to get the king trumpet mushrooms so we ended up getting these i ended up getting a pack of these i got some organic baby bella cremini mushrooms <laughs> and i also got just the regular oyster mushrooms so these are kind of going to be like our chicken supplements and then we got the dates which are good for snacking for baking um, and I'm also going to use these to make the chocolate chip mock like chocolate chip cookies. So these are healthier than chocolate chips. So we got this. What? And then I just got some dill um, spice organic dill to just put on meals. So we got that. 
I also picked up some onions. Oh, I thought I had a green onion. Oh no. I picked up a yellow onion twice. I don't remember. Uh uh, don't do that. I don't remember picking up a yellow onion twice. I thought I picked up a green onion. Okay, so I, apparently I got two green peppers. I mean, I meant to say peppers and then one red pepper. I could have sworn I got a green pepper. But I guess not. That's crazy. That's not adding up. I thought I picked it. Okay. And then I got some walnut milk. Now, I'm going to go find... I, I couldn't find some of the stuff in the grocery store, so I'm going to have to order some stuff on Amazon. But Walmart... Walnut nut milk, Reese. Are you listening to me, Reese? Can she hear me? I don't know if Reese can hear me. But apparently, Walmart walnut milk is better than almond milk. And I, I never noticed that when I looked at the box of almond milk. It's filled with like all this like yuck. So I'm going to be trying out Walmart walnut milk. And if y'all can't, if you look on the back of this brand, it's the Elmhurst Milk Walnuts. I meant to get sweetened. I got unsweetened, but it's okay. Um, I don't even know if they have sweetened. But it says filtered water and walnuts. That are the only ingredients that are in it. So... This is a plant-based milk if you want to try that out. And then I ended up getting this kettle and fire vegetable broth. This is good for like soups. So you want mom to make some soups? Yeah. Soup? soup? Yeah, so we got that. That's good for that. I got some organic chickpeas, which are good to make like hummus. You can do chickpea salads. You just have to soak these in spring water. So I got this brand. I don't really know what it. I'm going to order some more off of Amazon, of course, but I just got this brand for now. And then I also got from the Fresh Market coconut, organic coconut flour. Um, again, this is good for pancakes, for cookies, for any muffins, and for breading for, I guess, like um, the mushrooms and stuff. But I'm going to actually use, I think it's called Spelt. Spelt flour and I couldn't find that online so I'm have to I mean I couldn't find it in the store so I'm gonna have to order it online um but I'm gonna try to use this as well when I'm cooking and then I also got olive oil from the fresh market so this is for like instead of using like dressing you use olive oil on like your salads and stuff so I ended up getting this so from Publix we just got a red onion a white onion one of my friends recommended, there go my mom. <laughs> One of my friends recommended me to get this. <laughs> you gon' fall for real. <laughs> so yeah, this one is made with um, coconut amino, aminos. So I, I'm gonna try this out. I guess you can use this on just different meals. Um, use it with your on sauces and stuff. Noodles, stir fry. So I'm gonna try that. Then I got some chopped walnuts. So um, this is good for when you are trying to make like mock, basically mock beef. So you use a little bit of the, um, I think you're supposed to use regular mushrooms, but I may try the Bella mushrooms. I don't know. But you kind of blend a little bit of the mushrooms, I think, and the walnuts. And it's supposed to make like, basically like quote unquote beef. Um, but when you like mix it up with different sauces and stuff like that, it's supposed to give you that taco meat, like kind of like replica. So I'm going to try this out. I ended up getting this from Publix and yeah, it's, yeah, I just got that from Publix. And then you can also use this in like cookies and stuff like that. I need to find like some regular nuts as well. And then I just got a cucumber and some spring water. And that is it. That's all we got. Yeah, we're gonna be cooking it up, ain't we? Mm-hmm. Say that's everything for now. Say how do we do? Alright, y'all. So that concludes our alkaline plant-based diet, beginner friendly starter kit grocery haul i guess you want to call it of course there's more stuff i have to add and the more that i add the more i will update y'all and i'm gonna start doing some recipes showing y'all just my journey of where when i try recipes out and let y'all know how i like them but yeah i'll probably be in it i'm gonna for sure start this diet next week 
uh, for sure. Of course, we're going to snack on stuff and stuff. But um, I'm definitely going to be starting this diet next week. I think, where's today? Thursday? So we got the weekend to do our thing. She already want raspberries. These are raspberries. Say bye. Bye. Say see you next time. Bye. Mm-hmm.